If the nozzle fails to emit air during normal working, but emits air when the handpiece is removed, it indicates a blockage in either the handpiece or the nozzle. The handpiece and the nozzle needed it to be unblocked. Remove handpiece. Unblock the nozzle with a short needle. Unblock the other end with a long needle. Then use a three-way syringe to blow it clean. If the nozzle still does not emit air, either replace the handpiece or remove the nozzle to soak it in boiling water for one minute, and then repeat the previous steps. If the nozzle fails to emit air during normal working and still does not emit air when the handpiece is removed, but after the cord is removed, there is air out of the main unit outlet. It indicates a blockage in the cord. In such cases, the cord needs to be unblocked. Knead the tubing to crush the condensed powder. Use the air syringe to blow it clean. If the previous steps are still ineffective, use the syringe to inject 1 to 2 milliliter water into the tubing. Continue blowing with air syringe for 2 minutes after unblocking to ensure there is no residual water in the tubing. Run the device with powder capsule installed on. The nozzle does not emit air. However, during the cleaning mode, air is emitted. If replacing the powder capsule re resolves this issue, it indicates a blockage in the powder capsule and it needs to be unblocked. Remove powder capsule. Remove the school and duckbill valve at the powder capsule bottom. Use a short needle to unblock the dark bill valve hole. Use a long needle to unblock the powder pipe. Blow it clean with a three-way syringe. Reinstall the screw and duck bill valve. 